Hello and welcome to another episode of 3D Paint. I'm William Gordon and I'm just going to share some information with you guys today. Before I get started in my video series, I wanted to share with you guys where I get my models because I have a lot of people ask me this question, people that are getting new into the hobby and they ask me right off the bat, I can't create a lot of stuff, I just want cool models. There's several websites to get models because a lot of people do know this but a lot of people don't, especially if you're new into 3D printing and I just want to show you real quick where you can get your models. The first one I like and it's like my go-to is Thingiverse and you can go through what they have available. This is like the newest stuff or you could type in something you'd want like Batman and it'll bring up search results for a whole bunch of stuff for Batman or anything else you're looking for. You know if you're into Iron Man or any character or anything you could think of when you type that in. The next one that I like to go to if I can't find a really good model and they really do have a lot of really good models and this was the first website that I went to. As you can see you can get more of a um, character kind of 3D prints and a lot of this is more geared towards I think resin printing. This is my mini factory. What I like to do you know when I'm exploring you could search but I like to explore and I like to click on fan art. That's my favorite one to go to and they got a a lot of ads on this one that's kind of why I've been steering clear of this one a little bit but they do have quite a few fantastic models as you can see I mean it is beautiful stuff and you can buy stuff as well I actually have my models on here and that's where I got the Batgirl just I just love this artist I'm just gonna show this off to you real quick because I'm gonna give some praise to this artist he does a really good job I love that Batgirl hopefully I'll be painting her soon on this channel I do have a login I logged under Google and this is actually my model right here just to give you guys if you want to give back to the community I did do that and that's that's my print and not the best paint job but <laughs> I did 3d model this and I'll go into where I modeled it and how I modeled it. You can make your own models and then you could submit them to these websites and that's what this is. This is creators that you can follow. I actually have five followers, I didn't even realize, but I have some of my favorite artists. Let's see, feeds. I'm getting feeds of. Honestly, if I were you guys, I would definitely follow them. If they're your type of style, if if not, this is one of my favorites. This guy right here, he does a Batgirl. He has several. I did his Ninja Turtle. I thought this was the greatest, and I did the Batgirl. I never painted her, though. I just kind of gave it to my father. Look at that. I just love this guy's artwork. Love it. I mean, the detail. And this one's in pieces. And that's, that's the great thing about these. Some of these models are not modeled the best way, but this is one of the best models I've ever printed. It was done up so nice. It was done in pieces and every so often you're lucky enough to find somebody that will put that much work into it and it's just a great way to get some good models so that's my mini factory another one that I've used off and on it's cults oh look they actually have the 1988 Ninja Turtle that's really cool you can type in anything you want here or you could look for art and I don't really work with this one that much because this is more of paid stuff like I know everybody's doing this crystal dragon right now that's really popular but that's not bad dollar seventy to get the crystal dragon and if you do pay for a model it's usually better quality so this is cult and again you have you have a search here we could do batman again and these are all the stuff and some of the stuff is free but that one's free that one you gotta pay for that one's free I will say I've noticed there's a lot of stuff that says it's paid for on here and then you go to Thingiverse and you can see the same model and it's free I would check Thingiverse first before I would come to this one those are just my favorite ones to go to for downloading content Another place that you can find 3D printed files, if you're not finding the file you want, I'll just use Batman as an example, but if you put Batman and then you put STL and then files free, you can find all the files you're looking for through Google. And that's another way that I find files. See, here's Iggy. I went on this website once or twice, but th there's other places to find files that you wouldn't find anywhere else. And another thing that you could do is if you go back to Google, and this is a great way to do things, you could also do images and then you can try and find what you're looking for. And this is just a great easy way if you want to find something specific. So you know if you're looking for a certain type of STL file that you can't find anywhere else, doing a Google search is your best way. And like that's really cool. Let's, and we can visit that site. That's a really cool model. See now you wouldn't have seen this on anywhere else probably because this is some kind of other indie model 88.com. I see I've never seen this website but it shows you all 
all the files, it shows you what it is, and you can pay $8.99 and get this model so that way you can print it out. To create your own content, I'm gonna just touch base on this just in case you did wanna create your own content. You can go to Tinkercad, this is free for you guys to use. It's a web-based modeling piece of software. Really cool, I've modeled a lot of different things, I've made a lot of different things in here. Really intuitive, I may do a video on it. You can model a lot of different things, you can make a lot of different things with this. It's really cool, it's free, and then when you do model something like I was doing this vent, I mean this is a very basic model, and if I go to tinker this, I can select this and then export it out as an STL or an object file or whatever you want. I would do STL and then you can export it out to your slicers. The next one that I really, if you want to get really dive deep into making your own models and you want detail and you want to really get into this because this is a large learning curve. Tinkercad doesn't really have that big of a large learning curve. You could probably learn Tinkercad in probably a couple of hours. Blender, this is the other software that I personally like to use to model and that's what I did my Rocketeer model that I did. I was trying to learn how to use Blender. It is a very in-depth piece of software. I do have a background in 3D modeling and animation. I learned Maya. It used to be Alias Waves from Maya. I went to school and learned Maya inside and out. It's expensive to buy and this is free and this is right up there with Maya. This is designed for 3D animation. It has the same interface as Maya. There is a large learning curve, but you could learn this and you can actually model. Beautiful stuff and there's tons of tutorials out there. And if I get more into the sculpting and making my own 3D prints, I may get into that and share that with you guys. We'll see where this channel goes. It's a new channel, so we'll see. For now I just wanted to show you some options and this is also another really great option either one of these to manipulate models that you download from the web you can import your models and if you need to slice them up you can slice them up in blender or you can slice them up in here and you can do that type of thing and I like to use booleans to slice up a lot of my models and basically what a boolean is is you put a cube in or you or you can make scale this up to like half the size of the model and you can so if you do this like half the size of the model and I want to cut this model in half because it's too big for my printer. So if you select both of these and you hit group, it'll actually slice it in half. And now I have half the model. So that way I can fit it on my build plate and print it out and then glue it together and then have the full model. As far as software, I did want to tell you really quick, and I know this isn't part of the video, but I am going to show you really quick what software I use. I love Prusa Slicer for my FDM printer. I do use Cura, but with the new Macs, it hasn't been really working really well with Cura, and Prusa Slicer is optimized for the new Mac M1 processor chips. I was really big into Cura, and these are all free softwares, and you can load your printer's preferences in there and go ahead and use them. And that's Cura, and there's actually a newer version. I usually do a lot of this stuff on my laptop. That gives you an idea of what software I like to use for my 3D printers. These are for the FDM. Now, for my resin printer, I only use one and right now my resin printer is down. I have an Elegoo Mars and for some reason it's not working correctly and I'm trying to rectify the problem. The software that I use for resin 3D printer is Chudobox and this is for resin 3D printing. So if you bring a model in here, this is designed for resin 3D printing. And they all take STL files and as you can see with the resin 3D printer, it's a lot smaller build volume but you get the idea and they do they both slice them differently like this actually gets printed upside down on a resin 3d printer i just wanted to share the software that i use for slicing up my models and where to find the models and i just thought this would be a helpful introductory if you're getting new into this or if you've been doing this for a little bit and you didn't know about some of these softwares maybe it might help you that's it for this episode of 3d paint so get out there and be creative guys enjoy years in this lane there's no stop in this flame because i came to the game and i changed it to play how i like rearranged it to my own domain yeah i got what it takes made lots of mistakes taking shots skipping breaks feeling lost feeling great popping off singing straight never stop never changed all the squad here to play and i've got something to say yeah i work hard each and every day